Museum, and I did uh, a meet today with Don and Christine and Jill about the uh, Farmers Museum and the, some things we were thinking about in terms of use, and I think it was a good meeting. You would agree yep. that we came to some conclusions that I wanted to run these by the board that uh, they would like to um, limit the use of the house and probably the barn to to what I call post memorial events uh, to 25 to 30 people at most or lectures that they deem are uh, appropriate for that but get out of the general you know whoever wants a party go there thing in the barn in the barn or whatever just mm -hmm. because a lot of reasons that we talked about at length but I tended to agree with them on that it, it fits and more with that style. this is what you guys but they can comment on yeah. if they okay. want to you guys can comment if you want <coughs> so we we felt I think Don and I both felt and I think Kathy too um, the potential for harm to be done is increasing as, as you get different groups in there because there really isn't a lot of supervision. We've been very, very fortunate, but there's a lot of potential for something not to be so wonderful. Um, like I did, a, um, I opened up the, the Farmer's Museum this Saturday, what initially was going to be a memorial. It turned out not to be a memorial, but a picnic for 100 people. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of blindsided. But fortunately, it turned out to be very okay. It was a group of women, a sorority, alumnus, and they were very good. Plus, it was very cold, so I think they went home really early. Were they in the barn? <laughs> yes. No. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. But there were things, you know, I mean, um, there were 100 people there. So that's a great deal of people that involves parking, that just the stress on the barn, uh, looking at artifacts, you know, and in the house, the potential that someone could actually take something because, I mean, I was there in the, mor in the morning. I opened it up. I stayed a short time. I went back, you know, and, and looked at everything, and it was fine, but the potential is is there. What was it, the number you were thinking to limit it to? 25 to 30. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it would be reasonable in the house, for almost everything in the house, really. The house has a maximum capacity of 43. But that's counting every, all the square yes. footage on the first right. floor, right. and that's not reasonable, but the the bigger one that we fear came out that we fear in the barn is fire. Yeah. Right. And the wrong cigarette thrown the wrong way. We don't ban smoking at the whole park, the whole cemetery. I mean, and uh, anything could happen. It wouldn't take couldn't, a month. Could they label the, the museum and the, the barn a non-smoking area? Well, I think they are already. Inside. The Inside. potential is that the yeah. ground crew and the. Um, the building, yeah, they, yeah, the, they use the, the maintenance, maintenance people use the basement, and they have their cigarette breaks. Yeah, next but to the we can just can't we just say no smoking? Well, we can do that. We can change yeah. that to be. Well, we could. You want to ban it from the whole cemetery then? No, but the right. barn you the, should. The, the, the farmers museum. Uh, the farmers. The buildings, museum. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah the buildings for sure. But I'm not sure. Exactly. Again, how do you enforce it? I don't know. I was just okay. saying that as a potential problem when you have a bigger party. Well, I don't think people should be smoking in those buildings. In those buildings. No, no, no. No, 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 no I'm not uh, Visitors, nobody. No, no, I agree with that. Especially if they're working on equipment and there's gas and oil involved. Right, right. But, mm -hmm. um, but we, can put, we can put a sign up and oh, yeah. protect yeah. ourselves. Right. And then if they do something, we said, no smoking on the grounds. But I'm just thinking in terms of of use of it as, as we have seem to have more interest in it for other type of things and there's a graduation party coming up. Mm -hmm. Not that that's Small a bad number. thing I'm trying to put up, but it could be That one's not the boy. That's, I think, 40 to 50 yeah. people. Oh, okay, so we've already got bookings that are more than yeah, we, we have to maintain. You, want, yeah. you don't want to do it right. in the future. we got to take the ones we already have because we okay. promised them that time, but I think in the future here that we should cut it down. We have a bridal shower and two weddings and a graduation party. Well, two <laughs> weddings? Good. Yeah. But they appear to be ceremonials. Ceremonies not and then now receptions, which, you know. What a sweet idea. Yeah. No, don't get any ideas. But it's it adds, you know, it adds complication to it because uh -huh. we don't really have a maintenance crew where somebody can, unless one of these two volunteers go up during their time they're there. It's mm -hmm. unchaperoned. 
Not only that, if we go up there, we have no authority because we don't work for the town. Well, We're just a volunteer. Town. We can't really. You could call it. somebody. We'd have to call nine one one. Yeah, call it. yeah you, you could. could. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's going to affect our income from it because we only took in three hundred what sixty eight dollars. You got the report last year. So it's not like a giant money moves are worse than we already have. It's a biggie. Yeah. If it comes to the difference in the income, I'll forego my wages. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's face it, 2015 was a little more lucrative. But, <laughs> <laughs> but still, and it wouldn't be that we wouldn't charge for a post-funeral service of some, or not service, a post-funeral event, uh, but at least we could rationalize that with saying, you know what, it's going to be more than 25, 30 people. And in most of those cases, as we talked today, if you've got to have food and catering, they're going to go to the place where that's already provided. We do a lot of funerals down the that. Yeah. And all we, you know, if they're veterans, we don't charge them. We just ask, mm -hmm. for any donation. local people, we just ask for a donation at the end. You know, mm -hmm. And uh, it works out well, but it's hard. What 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 is the normal rental fee up there? I mean, it's eighty dollars, isn't it? It's forty five or something. It's not very much. It's by the hour. It's yeah, something that's by the hour. It's yeah. the first hour, and then every hour. Cuts down. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'd like to write that down. Do you have your twenty five dollars for the first hour, and uh, that's for just the house only. Forty dollars for the barn and the house. Yeah, it's very reasonable. Funeral package was fifty dollars. Yeah. I mean, the other thing is if they that's if you not take, enough money. No, but if you just take you the bar, we don't have any uh, for the bathroom facilities, so you automatically get the house. Oh, yeah, it's it's very minimal. So, I didn't really hear much. Yeah. <laughs> so it kind of. I That's think because of the price is why we've gotten so many more rentals this year. I mean, sure. Uh, oh, yeah, it's cheap. Fifty dollars. Have the wedding ceremony and then go at the reception. Right. Well, it's a nice setting up there for pictures. It is. Yeah. It... But we don't have anybody to really manage that, and if we start having employees be there, that will drive that cost up even yeah. more. Yeah. Including cleanup, which. As you said, it hasn't been a real issue yet, yeah, but all it takes is one time where there's a party where nobody touches anything. They do take yes. a deposit, and they yes. take a maintenance deposit also. Yeah. Yeah. And they have to have liability insurance. Everyone? Even the people getting married? No, that we haven't. Individuals? That. Individuals? No. 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 Only if it's a company. Like a, a group. We wouldn't do that any more than we do, would down at the lodge in the county. Yeah. You know, this is one of the problems. I get different answers to the same well, question. Well, now you <laughs> know. Now you know. You're kind of getting it right from the board. Is this the right answer? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That would put an end to almost everything we do. You started saying you have to have a liability to do anything on town property. In today's world, it seems like the right thing, but... Mm -hmm. well, they have to do it. So anyway... Um, we don't have to answer it tonight because we have some commitments anywhere, but if the board is in agreement with it, we do, we are, Jill and I talked about not putting anything in the rec brochure to promote use. Are you saying that we can't make a decision tonight or you don't want to? No, I'd love to make one. I just didn't want to force you, first you heard about it, so I you have to do it right it, now. I think it makes sense what you're suggesting. Just throwing this out, could you still promote use but just put in the ad? Building only holds. They're just the capacity. Capacity is up to you know 25 people, 35 or 30, you know, or whatever. However you want to sell. Or events it. limited to 30 or, or whatever. Do you really or not want it to be not used. worry about it. No, I want it to be used, and I, I think I clarified that right with these two. Right. They didn't want to you know make it an untouched museum, uh, but that. We just want to get a feel for what we wanted to use it for. I just think we just put it in. <coughs> Twenty-five to thirty people, maximum occupancy, and then just leave it at that without putting, taking anything or putting anything else in the in the uh, rec program. So, I mean, just so I'm understanding, you're saying you don't want it in the rec program or put it in the rec I don't, program? I don't, I don't think if we put in there, 
with conditions, I think that's going to hurt us more than anything. You know, they're going to call an inquiry. You can just tell them, hey, you know, it's available, but you can't, you know. Well, this the amount of people is very limited. Initially, on, on the website, it says small, and it actually does say, you know, that it's for like small small groups, showers and functions and luncheons. Um, so if you did put like 25, especially, it's very nice like for a post memorial service or something, that would be very and nice. And you can't control that you're going to have 25 or 30. If there's either. 40 there for a funeral. Yeah. No, no, no but, but you can't, but. There wouldn't probably be, you know, like I, I was thinking of the Baders, they came when, when, Mr., when Mrs. Bader died and um, I, it was very appropriate for them to meet there. They'd given a large donation when Jean had died, mm -hmm. and I think that was a good collective place for them to have a small get together. You know, something like that, I think, is well, very appropriate. But it's, it's hard to know how to. I kind of like how Bob said, Aver if I understood you correctly, Bob, advertise it, and then if anybody calls, and if you say it's a smaller venue, but don't go into specifics, and then if they call or stop up at the rec center, you can say, well, this building holds. The capacity. 30 people, or, you know. I, I would like to see a different application form so they it's spelled out what is expected of us. And that was their thought, too. Why don't I give you a copy of the Vets Club? That's good. Mm -hmm. Kathy was going to see Four the, pages. Yeah, Kathy was going to do the Morgan Manning also to see because we, kinds of things. Because we, you know, they use any of our dishes, boy, they're going to be washed and dried and shrink wet. Everything, I mean, it's... Yeah. Shrink wrapped? Shrink wrapped. Yeah. Uh, I just would hate for it not to be advertised because I think it's a gem. But, you know. Well, I, I, well you have to just have a plan. You wanna, yeah. you know, <laughs> just have that's, a plan where it's just got to be a consensus. A big crowd could ruin the gem. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. I wouldn't want that. No, not at it's all. It's just like Saturday. Uh, they were lucky they were parked along the edge of the lawn and if they'd have pulled out in the lawn. That's another issue. They might still be there. Yeah. I told them the cars there. Them. They didn't pull I off. Told them. Them. Well, it seems to me then, if it is advertised, the, the Farmers Museum will be uh, available for small events. Capacity is thirty, or whatever. So when they call you, they know that's what it is. It's not going to be negotiated or anything else. This what about is, the barn? Mm -hmm. I think Maybe you don't want to rent the barn. I think the <coughs> yeah, that's what I mean, do. without the barn. Just that's, the house itself. Yeah. The barn can be used for museum funds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We all know if there's fire starts in the barn, it's just oh, like... Oh, okay. that's that Donnie's can. fault then. Yeah. <laughs> Make it blame for everything. No, I think that's a good idea. Now, are you going to draw up the new contract, so to speak? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll come up with something and I'll okay. share it with you. All right. But if Just the board's in agreement with that, then we'll have something within the next week or so. We got those commitments anyway, and then we just limit it to those. How far into this year do the commitments go? Well, once in September. Well, September 30th was the last one. Most of them are in June. But yeah. So go. then, or you can make it starting in 2018 or whatever you're going to do. But if anybody calls from now on, capacity is this, no longer renting the barn. It's good. I'm for yeah. that. All right. Are you for that? Oh, yeah. Are you for that? that? Oh, yeah. No barn use. All right. Thank you. Okay. We'll get that out of the way. Uh, Lodge on the canal. What I did to uh, Matt Friday with uh, Lifetime. Oh. Talk to them. And, uh, just to see whether they are still wide or the other way. They're still in a, in a bigger capacity? In a bigger capacity, right. And at that point, when they go back to their board and talk, then they can come in and see us. They're, they're talking about early June. And then. They're meeting, you mean? Or? No, to come back to talk oh. to us. You give them a month to talk about it. And then they would come in and talk to the rest of the board about um, some options that they might think about. And I threw everything out there, you know, the whole gamut yeah, from running the whole meal plan to uh, lease, purchase, purchase, whatever, just to put everything on the table we can put on and, and look at options there. And they, they didn't just, just say it's out of the question or not going to go there. So 
I think there's opportunity there for us to maintain some of what you like and then what they like too. I maybe. just don't want to, I don't, I truly do not want to sell the building. I'm, I think it's one of our best properties. I, I know how you feel about that too. I mean, I forget, it, even, that. forget it, even as a senior center or a lifetime place or whatever, the building itself, aesthetically and location and everything is one of our best town properties. But one thing we know we got to do is drive those costs down mm -hmm. somehow. So that's that's one of the goals that I have. And the, the, the board can look at it. Yeah, it's it to all of us, but I, I want to look at all angles. I would like to talk sometime about the the possible options uh, in addition to lifetime. What are the options for us with that building in terms of zoning and, and limited, very limited with zoning. Yeah. In terms of what could be done there. Uh, I still think it would be great if, if somehow it was a space that was um, shared by the college, the village, and the town so that no one would bear the full burden, but it could be functioning in a way that would be useful to all. I don't know. That's just a... No, you can say that. That's outside the box. And certainly that we, I can say that too to, uh, you know, the, the uh, village board and the mayor and talk terms of what they may be interested mm -hmm. in, but one of the things that we have to deal with there is their budget starts in July, so they're already into what they're already doing, so they would have to say, well, it'll have to be a year and a half later. And I know things for them are really tight. Yeah, well, you've been through the thing committee, so you know that, so but we won't dismiss it out of hand, mm -hmm. uh, because it, it may relate to that whole other thing we're looking at. Yeah. Uh, but if there's a workaround for all of us to make somewhat of a compromise to utilize it in a different way or more efficiently, effectively, I'd say more than efficient because government's never efficient, effectively, uh, I think it'd be a good thing. To yeah, do. I think it's good to meet with them. Yeah, so I just wanted the board to know that I not, um, just threw it out on the table again. We talked for about 45 minutes. When you say um, food program, they would be in charge of a program just for lifetime people? No, no, same with what we're doing now. You, um, so you know, seniors, seniors could still lunches, go there? Yeah, public could still come in. Oh, okay. Because it's, you know, they're not prepping the food anyways, ABVI right. and it would still give their uh, clients an opportunity to learn, have a learning skill. And that's been very and, good. Yeah. So that's a, that's a good thing. Yeah. In the meantime, they still want to use a lease. Yes. For what they just so that we're okay with what we have. Oh, so when, when, when is that is renewable? In the future, we September. all yes. change our minds. So there's two different, this is a lease addendum. The $500 lease was in October. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was October, yep. October. This one is just the 300 extra for just that fireplace. That which they're not in now, which they're in the cafe. They're not, the using the fire, they're not using the fireplace room now. They're using the cafe. Well, they're asking for, it, for this because it expired and they didn't send us the 300 for me just because they want a, a lease before they send us the 300 for me, which I can understand. Well, yes. for now they're in the cafe. They're not in the fireplace well, room well. at all. Or they just go back and forth depending on... They're the not using the fireplace room. And it has to do with staffing for lifetime. Well, I've do we met, want to amend this? I've then? talked to Deanna. Well, I would talk to Deanna to confirm before. Well, then if... If she says that, then we just want to just say. Do we want to just not just specify cross out the exact room? primarily the fireplace room because she can have them wherever she wants it to be, right? I don't know. Well, that that cafe room was being used for a lot of other things that go on at the center. During that same period of time, uh, knit, knitting, uh, bridge, whatever they they use that room for different things. So, we before anything is signed, we need. to find out. And I don't know if it's temporary or how long it's going to be. Well, so you're no longer a resolution on Tuesday. I'll drive down. Well, I'll talk to Deanna yeah. and, and get her to talk if it's to just us. A, if it's just a couple of months, that's one thing. But we need to know what what room we're leasing to them. Be If you have to sign something. Mm -hmm. It's primarily the fireplace room. It just says primarily. So. Well, that's one option, right. Say primarily. As long as it's, it's so primarily. accurate. I just want to get the, mm -hmm. them so their lawyers can say they can pay us something. Yeah. Because, sure. Um, we know they're in there, so yeah. at least getting something out of them that way because I don't want to. She'll tell you. Based on the other thing if we're it's talking just about. Temporary. 
It's based on number of employees for lifetime, she said. They, they move to the other room because there's something about lifetime's staff. Oh, well, that would be temporary then, too. So, I would just, I can talk to Amy about just call that, it, too. and can, can we sign this next week, then, or what we do you We could, yeah. Do? Well, you need to do a resolution. Yeah, a resolution, right? resolution for me to sign. Yeah, yeah okay. So and if you just need that. Yeah, you just get the we'll word, it, yeah, whatever she uh, says. Uh, just primarily. Yeah. Primarily. But what did you have a I wouldn't change it. About? I wouldn't just change it. it. Oh, uh, if we sign this, would that mess up if, say, a couple months from now, we decide to do more with these guys? I don't know. Then you have to supersede three anything leads. prior to yeah. sign. Yeah. We could supersede because our agreement, well, this isn't the whole legal language. We could come to a different agreement okay. based on that. Well, I do remember um, Jim last year when we made up this separate one. Had us put in, I do see the word primarily, but he had us specifically put in a room, like the fireplace yes. room. So maybe we just need to find out if she it's can tell you. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll have that information before next week for us to specify where we are, what it entails. I just, they, they're the ones that brought this to me Friday and said, Are we signing this again? Or are we oh, out? Sure. <laughs> you know? So I said, well, I got to talk to the board about it and see where they want to go. And I said, it's an opportunity. I, I didn't know that. I'd be very interested in what else they want. Yeah. Well, they, I mean, they were, we were talking about the entire place. So that, that's what I was talking about at that point. But they got to go back to their board and see where they are with what stuff they have. Um, but I know one of the parts that Ernie said clearly that their whole idea was to not close it off to the community. Enable them so because they, the their, the state has told them they have to integrate their people more into the community somehow. Sure. So that means inviting people. Okay, into there. so that means that some of the regular people that go there uh, would still be able to go, but the entire building would belong to lifetime assistance through a lease. Right. So they would control when it's open, when uh -huh. it's used, and, uh -huh. and pay the utilities and all uh -huh. those kind of things. Which are our biggest expenses. Mm -hmm. The overheads would kill us. Mm -hmm. So, would they be able to, how Deanna tells Monroe County, I need X amount of lunches every month, would they be able to take over that responsibility? Yeah. They would have to do that. Yes. They, do, they do it. The, the contract is actually between Lifetime yes. Assistance and the county. We're not part of that. Anymore. And Jennifer right in the that. kitchen is yes. working for Lifetime yes. Assistance as yes. a yes. tra trainer yes. of yes. all those people that oh. have well, been she helping. Oh, they've got a like minimum of of ten. Well, I mean, she's yeah. there and kind of... If they don't have 10, they don't yeah. come out. Well, they are. She shared that with us. That they yeah. have to have 10 bunches at least. Oh, yeah. Right. If it falls below, they're not going to yeah. themselves. Well, usually there are at least that many just from lifetime assistance if nobody yeah. else is there. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a ways off. I'm just putting it out there because it, we got to work out a lot of the details in terms of that. But at least it's an option to look at. And I don't even know if, you know, they go to their board and they may say, uh, you know, unless we can own it or do something else, we don't want it. Maybe it's not the right kind of space that we want. It. And if they lease it, if they lease the entire building, are we relieved of all of the... Not the only thing we'd be if it's our building. We still have insurance. We still have insurance. Yeah, okay. But other than lease. that... We wouldn't have that. Okay. Any expense. So. A triple what? They call them triple net, except there's no taxes on it. Yeah. Utilities, uh, repairs, these things. See, if it's like if it's like a plaza, the triple net, the taxes, insurance, and upkeep. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's, well, when we speak the to them, we'll know a lot yep. more. Okay. Park concessions, our favorite subject from last week. Um, yeah, I got the schedules. So you did get Yay. schedules. So. Yeah. And I did break down. Now, the only thing I don't have, I have one bison's schedule. I don't have all their bison teams. But I have all Sweet and Clark's and schedule. I did talk to Scott Wilson, by the way. Uh, but I did forget to ask him because I, I asked him where, where the check was because bison's usually pay us a half and half with this week. And he said he was going to cut Jill up the check soon. Because, I think that's uh, today. Tom uh, Field 5 was out of service for the month and they were fine with that. But he said everybody was, was the same on the board except for Tracy, the secretary. So uh, I think we just have to get his number and find out who's the scheduler. 
And then Tom Lynch, Lottie uh, reached out to me too on Sunday night, and he said um, they're interested in doing something. They'll have kind of an idea in about a week or two of what maybe they'd like to do for for doing some volunteer concessions. Oh yeah, yeah, to make some money. Yeah. And also, I happened to be talking to this uh, to Walt and Steve the other day, and Walt said. You should really ask the lines, and someone else said that to me today that we should look into the service clubs to see if so they. If we opened like it for one day, if we could pick a day and make that volunteer day, and rotate that through whoever would like to use the concession stands for raising money, whether it be the teams or Kiwanis or Lions or whomever, well, might be kind you, of a, a neat idea. The Lions would bring out their own. Hot dog stand. Yeah. I mean, they have that whole. But, then you, but they have a health certificate. Also. Oh yeah, no, I understand. I mean, that. So they are allowed. But I'm to saying cook. is, we wouldn't man it. Whatever day that you we could pick, if we do it that way, it would also, be a volunteer day. Mary, Mary was saying, uh, oh, so you do have more, more on the schedule. So, so I don't know where, like I said, where Bison's fall. It looks like right now Tuesdays and Saturdays are the biggie. Probably, yeah. The week, Saturdays are their bigger day, right? They have some Sunday games sometimes, but... I yeah, don't. very little. Is it, well, what I have so far. Yeah. I don't know what, what Bison's is going to fill up, but um, Tuesdays are multiple teams playing. Saturdays are multiple teams playing. Right now, I only have one team playing on Wednesdays, so it doesn't, to me, that doesn't even warrant having concessions running. You're not going to do much. I mean, when we used to have our kids play up on the hill, there's no concessions right. up there. There's, I thought Fridays were their light day, too. But yeah, not. Fridays are not much of anything. Unless, like I said, unless so Bison's So we're talking up. Monday, Tuesday? No, Monday's not up. Nothing it's on Monday? Hit and miss. Unless Bison's has more games that I don't know So about. Tuesdays and Fridays are nothing. It's, it's Tuesday, yeah, Tuesdays, I'm sorry, and Saturdays are the big ones. Mm, okay. See, it's U8, U10, T-ball, two T-ball teams. Oh, yeah, that is a lot. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So the, the, for the people, and I don't, I don't have any problem service clubs. If they feel they want to do it and rotate it even, I mean, that's a whole other issue to deal with that. Um, but they would be supplying their own food Everything. and all that stuff, so they, we don't, we're, not, we're not planting the seed of having anything there for them. No. And, and if they... Um, I mean, the service clubs have have the health certificates. Yes. If it's if it's a baseball, the are, I think the Lions are the only one that has a health certificate. Well, I, I don't know, but I know they yeah, do. Yeah, want us to. Yeah. Yeah, because they do stuff at the um, who who does the oh, uh, the art festival? Arts festival. Has to want us to do it. Bisco. Bisco, yeah. Oh. Okay. That's oh, well, good. that's a combo club. That's a combo yeah. of all of them. Well, anyway. So, um, but you would, I, and again, you can talk to them and see what they say. I'm fine with that, but I. We're not talking the scale of the arts festival in terms of sales, so they no. gotta, they're going to say they might say if we need more than one night to justify it, or it. you know, I don't know what they say. So, yeah. so then, what you're saying, based on the past, is that we don't need to have it six days a week. Is that what you're saying? Well, if it's if it's based on what you're seeing there, I would I would guess so, not. Two days a week, three days a week at the max, unless Bison's comes in with a bunch more games that I don't. That so I if we about. have twelve weeks, so we would need twenty four slots. Right now, if it's Tuesday and Clarkson, Saturdays, Sweet and Clarkson starts the week of May eighth, and they're done by the last full full week. No, second to the last week in June. It's very brief. Yeah, it's a short season. For now, did your did you run concessions for soccer? Uh, we tried, but it was unsuccessful. We did it for the migrant soccer. That was which really is gone. Cool. Anyway, the regular soccer, no. No, okay. They just didn't buy stuff. Okay. As a matter of fact, the last two years, we let them at their turn to do it because we couldn't make any money on it. So if, if you go to Wegmans on the weekend to the tournament, they're all, they're all up there buying That's their own right, stuff. and they put tables outside and everything. So if we're talking about... Uh, 12 weeks at the max. Well, you're talking about 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 weeks. It's teeny. 8 weeks. 
and two big nights that we know of. Times two big four days, are you saying, instead, 32 times? No, I'm saying if it's only Tuesdays and Saturdays, why would you have it the other days? I, I, I'm you know, leaving that up to you. I don't know if you would. If you, okay, you so let's say, let's say um, eight weeks twice a week, that's 16. It seems to me that we could get somebody to volunteer to do that 16 times between service clubs and um, other other boosters. Yeah, unless, we would I don't know how many teams Bison's have. I, that's my part I don't know. Well, they're gonna well you'd them. add a few then for that. It wouldn't, be, it wouldn't break the bank on that if somebody wanted to cover once they got started. Uh, say, you know, these other days need to be Covered too. It's got to be worthwhile, or nobody's going to do it either. Tuesdays they start at six fifteen, um, and the games. So what can you say? Well, they can go as late as eight thirty, yeah, and when so. it's the sun's up later in June. So it's two uh, two and a half, two and a quarter hours, two and a half hours. You got to set up and get done. So. Well, I don't remember now. I don't have the paperwork that you gave me, Lisa, about the concession stands, about income. Um, how much income that they would get to make it worthwhile for anybody to be there. Um, well, it depends again what they're going to charge versus uh, I, what we charge. I think that what you, what the, your sister charged was appropriate for families to come and buy. But that might not be enough for a uh, service club to make any money at it. Maybe. I, I, obviously, I don't call. Is $2 for water too high or $1.50? Yeah. No, no. Well, you know what? When, uh, when I made the booth for posters, um, dollar for water, but all soda was 2 bucks, pizzas 2 bucks, chips 2 bucks. It just, everything was 2 bucks. Really? Mm -hmm. That's higher than I think what was charged at the baseball. For some of the things it is, but yeah. others it may not have been. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sure a hot dog is that, at least. To what? At least. If not three. So I think that's the kind of stuff we have to find out so that we're not pricing ourselves out. Well, well would it matter, though, if, if they're if doing it? If it's a volunteer thing, you can't tell them what to charge. That's, no. their, that's their deal. Right. That's their deal. So then basically what we need to, to find out is approximately how many teams are playing at a certain time and how many people that draws, sort of an estimate. So right now, I mean, without without all of Bison's schedule, <coughs> Tuesday nights you've got three teams consistently playing. And on Saturdays you've got two, four. three, four, five, six, seven teams playing. Wow. Saturday you're going to Saturday's be more. huge. Yeah. It's weather dependent, though, too. Yep, if it's yeah. cold, you don't sell as much ice cream or whatever. Yeah, hot. Um, oh, no, that booth has nothing. It has no electricity. Not there, no. That's nice. So, but can can they use a snack bar since they're sitting there? Well, but then they got we got to go through the whole thing and get the, everything cleaned up and running. Well, that that's not the worst thing. Are you talking about the big concession stand when you say the snack? Well, I mean concession stand. I'm saying the wrong. You don't mean the one over by the soccer field with well, the bathrooms in it. You mean the other one on the north side of the road? Between the little little fields. I, I I'm just trying to figure out how they would decide if they're not there. If you have an a organization come in, bring their stuff in, then that night at eight thirty they take everything out. But someone else is going to be there next time. Turn everything off. Start again. Yeah. I think that's probably going to work. <laughs> Well, if they're coming, if, if they are coming in two times during eight weeks, say whatever the organization is. Well, in that but, case, you'd want to make them do it the same week. They might have more interest in that instead of going seven weeks ago. Whatever, yeah, we're going to come back whatever, in seven well, weeks. We're not there yet. Mm -hmm. First, we've got to get the rest of the schedule. Yeah. Well, I think, and you got to see if that interest is there. If they want to do it more than one time, which I would certainly recommend, if they're going to. Do because they do it once and say, well, we only made a hundred bucks. The Saturday people are going to make out. And so that might be the easier incentive for somebody to do mm -hmm. it on those weekends. Yeah. Between the teams and the parents, that's quite a few people. Okay, so. Well, I think I, you know, let, you know, let 
let us know when we get closer to that point. If it starts Monday, I mean, there won't you can be see anything there won't be anything there, so we'll just have to deal with that. Um, Tuesday would be the first day to start. Hmm? Tuesday? Okay, Tuesday then. Uh, and uh, high school booster clubs are out, as far as you know? Or? No, no, they're not. Oh. No. Uh-uh. I mean, you know the lacrosse one, obviously. And did, swimming. Did you say anything to them about... Yeah, uh, swimming's already there? contacted me that they're interested. They are interested yep. in taking stuff out there? Yeah. I'm going to give them the exclusive rights. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the other option. <laughs> they could have the whole thing if they stay at it for two months. This has been bad and being different. Um, well, if we really know... The dates, and there are 24 dates or something. I bet you there's more than 24 dates. I think when you get the rest of the schedule, there will be some oh. more, but yeah, I mean, whatever. Well, hopefully, you get it in the next couple days. Yeah, um, well, I think we can get it tomorrow or tomorrow. That's and, what I think. Uh, I can give you a Scott, I don't have to come around, and then I can give you a Scott Wilson's number. At least that'll get you to whoever does the scheduling, right? I'll, I'll text it to your email, yeah. And then you can find out from him. Because that's the only outlier is Bison's. And the only thing eight. is there, and he did say they had two games scheduled on the field five, they're going to move to away games because of the reconstruction, so those won't be happening. Uh, do you know when they're starting after the modern scene Thursday and Friday? Well, they just did the layout last week, but obviously that kind of killed uh, yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because their first game here for U10 Bisons is Friday, and I don't know what that feels like. It's going to be all mud. Well, it will be canceled if we get what they said. Yeah. One to two inches of rain between Thursday and Friday. That's a lot of yeah. water. Yeah. So the whole schedule could be off. You know, that happened last year in Clarkson. We struggled with that big time for uh, with the, uh, not last year, the year before with um, the adult softball because we had such a bad mood what that summer was. And it got pushed back and they didn't finish a lot of their games. Till and, November. And we got how <laughs> we got caught there because you know what Clarkson takes care of not us. They couldn't even mow it. And some of the umpires said, Well yeah they can't run down those baselines with the grass is this high. And we're talking about thirty and five and forty year olds. But there was nothing we could do. So the whole schedule got pushed to late August. Oh my gosh. So, now, last year was the opposite. The whole thing was burnt out. Okay, now I have a question. When, when teams are playing in um, Clarkson, do they have food? I don't think so. Not that I know of. Okay. I don't, I don't think so. so. All right. We'll get, we'll get the rest of that yeah, schedule. Yeah, I'll talk then. to Scott tomorrow. We'll talk to him and then talk to, uh, you know, and if we'll you got some yeah, contacts for the, the service club. Service club already yeah. that contacted me a week ago, two weeks ago, and said, Yeah, we're, we're interested. So, what was that? That was swimming. Oh, okay. Because they're trying to pay for camp in the summer. Oh, well, they are? Well, yeah. 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 Bob says, Exclusive right. right. <laughs> then they can leave their stuff there and yeah. they'll set up packing up every I time. Well, they they so which one locks? So I can. Well, they both lock, but. You know what, I'll just have to hook up with Todd and Roger and, yeah. and see what... But they can just use it. I mean, if it's not being used, they should be able to use it. But the other thing involves... Cleaning it up. Cleaning it up, because there is... The, the, the one on the north side has a sink, electricity, the cooler, the freezer, the whole gamut, and the it also gets rodents in the wintertime, so you usually have to always clean that out. So well, I would... Every, anything with food needs to be cleaned out. Yeah. Even if there aren't rodents. No, no, but I, 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 if they're in the other one, I doubt they have to do as much cleaning. Are there garbage cans and everything else set out there? Yeah, they're out there as part of the park anyway. So. Just but for do, their cleanup, I mean, if, if whoever is at that concession. Oh, yeah, they're, they they're still down. There's 55-gallon drums sitting there right now. Uh, yeah. Also, remember in the past, some of those organizations would have uh, chicken barbecues where somebody would come in with, and do everything and you just pay your ten bucks and you have a big dinner. That's another option for a couple of those days. And it's usually like on Saturday. Oh, yeah, or Saturdays you, you would be. Buy it. Well, don't you just have to book those Yeah, order time. them ahead, yep. And, and um, yeah, because I've gone over, I told you that before. To the soccer field. Well, the, the bigger event, tournament. the bigger food events, Saturdays would be. I think they do very well mm-hmm. from nine in the morning till 
one thirty, you two in the afternoon. Late, sometimes we'll go to three o'clock. I don't know how long the games. You know, baseball is not like soccer; it's not a time event. Right. So only one. The U U eight games are the max is one and a half hours. At yeah. To the rules. Yeah. But well, I've had coaches push that if the game's tied. But that's <laughs> a long time from nine a.m. Really, probably eight thirty in the morning till. If we get some significant heat like last year, you could sell a lot of uh, refreshments. Right. Um, but if we don't, and I know this again from my sister's experience, the cold May coffee and hot chocolate, but you couldn't give them soft drink away. Nobody cared about them. So, um, so okay. All right. All right. Let's get our ocean closer. Rotary survey, that's a, a kind of a segue into that a little bit. I told you guys last week and I got that from them, and one of the things that they asked about was, well, you can read it, but it says briefly describe within the community the needs for people, funding, materials, etc., and a time frame of action needed, and what type of community services for outside the community. Oh, another exclusive support. contract. So, and the area organizations, field of expertise, additional comments. So what I did run into Dave Arnold at Runnings, and he asked about if I chose two guys yet, which I didn't show up, but I mentioned it. And he said that we definitely should be asking for something because they're looking for projects or something to support. Mm -hmm. So I don't expect to have that answer tonight, but I, I know one thing is that when we get the lodge of the park built, there's some things there. That cables, can chairs. Cables, chairs, maybe the landscaping. Do they want to put a new roof on the gazebo at the lodge on the canal? I don't know. And so Roger and Todd don't have Can't to do it? Roger buy that shingles? I don't know. They've been talking about it for a couple of years. Well, I'm not sure that, if they're looking for the construction Something projects, but maybe, project. but, I, but I, I thought, you know, we get the lodge done this fall. We hope. We hope we have shrubs and stuff that need to be put in. That could be a weekend of the rotary being there. Where are we with the that, lodge? I'm going to get to that. I okay, put so not here, but I know more yeah. since yesterday, okay, so that's good. a good thing. Um, so think about it, and, and I, I'd like to get back to it in a week at least yeah, to say okay. something. But it, you know, you said it doesn't have to be something next week. We can write down some notes and suggestions. Just said that you know one of the particular community that exists within the side of our community has all the time we go. So let's do it. So it's time for us to ask for something. Related. Like how big of a thing? You know, maybe are they it's uh, maybe about? it's better. You know, one thing Jill mentioned to me: the playground equipment at the rec center stinks. It's 14 years old. Maybe they could drive towards the clean additional stuff. But how stuff much money are we talking about? I mean, you didn't really they do say, stuff but like I know this. they are we talking about a couple thousand or five hundred? Well, that's what these service clubs work for us, getting back to the community. They don't do it to bankroll a lot of money and keep it in the bank. They keep it but that yeah. would determine what we ask for, sort of. If we yeah. have a sense of how much. Well, true. Well, I, I think we're definitely talking in the mid thousands bracket or higher. Oh. So, That's so the, great. What else can you do with it? We're not looking for a couple hundred dollars. Okay. Um, so we better think about our little wish list. Yeah. No, I, 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 there's certainly some things that we could. Well, like Brian was talking about more trees planted. At the cemetery? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's an um, option too. Some landscaping for the lodge. Um, Cable storage. Yeah. The, the, Furniture. Yeah, even outdoor furniture. Because yeah. we're going to have a nice porch on there, too. <coughs> Thank you very much. I just saw it. Uh, Perfecto. Yeah, that's good. All right, porch so. Porch furniture for the lodge. Anything like that. Tables and chairs. Uh, okay. Um, so let's write. Microwave. You know, how long do we need? Commercial microwave. How long do we have to get this in? Well, what did you give this to? Two weeks ago, I think it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. April twentieth. Well, yeah, it's dated April twentieth, yeah. so I we should be able to get that. So, in a what if we weeks. all write in some ideas yeah. and then we can either email them around or come yeah. to some consensus? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll we'll bring it up at the board meeting and then. Uh, Great. We'll, we'll ask. Somebody wants to give us something. Worst, the worst they can say they're nuts. So. Right. Okay, uh, shared services. Um, 
You know the governor's, the illustrious governor's uh, mandate. Oh, watch out. <laughs> oh, come on. Just because he's a dem, I don't think he's on your side. Uh, I've, heard that, side. I've heard that for plenty of Democrats. Um, it, it's coming quicker than we thought. Oh, uh, the project Well, not not only that, just project. the whole process the of getting there, the mandate, because we have to have something by the end of August with the county, three meetings. But I mean, are they getting that, that part? That's what I mean. Is it getting organized? Uh, it is starting tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm going to Department State meeting at the, uh, the Equal Opportunity Center in Rochester. They invited all mayors and supervisors to come for this hour and a half talk. Was Cheryl it. in Alpha? No, this is the state. Oh, but Cheryl's supposed to head up for the yes, local. Yes, yeah, she will. She'll probably be there, obviously. But, okay. Um, yeah, she's the the, the the county executive, wherever it is, is yeah. in charge of running the panel. They call it the right. panel. Right. Yes, I read the yes. letter. That long. And that stuff that thing. you guys got the email of from that too. So uh, I am going to go there tomorrow and I'll report back whatever they said. And then on Monday, the Association of Towns is doing a separate seminar in Batavia that Lisa and I are going to. For a couple hours to give their side same of subject. It. The same subject, you know, the Association of Towns is outside of the government area. How to survive it? Probably. I, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> How to survive. I will survive. And, the, and um, it'll be, because you guys got the Association of Towns in the uh, newsletter there, and uh, we'll be interesting there. I told her, uh, Lisa, is that we'll have a lot of communities from much more rural Owns there because it's in Batavia, Genesee, Orleans. Oh. It'd be interesting to Wyoming. hear what you have to come back with versus. See yeah, I can't wait to hear from this. Uh, well, this is going to be really tough on everybody. Yes. Everybody. Mm -hmm. everybody. Well, I looked through that, that in, again, all that stuff that we got. If you look through that Cornell uh, study about percentages saved, and a lot of those things that are on there we've already done yes. in the past, like the library is a big money saver, but we're already there. Uh, some of the other ones that you know you run into that they talk about that I can't see an easy workaround for is the union issue. If you're unionized or not, your different contracts. And at least say say you wanted to combine. I'm just throwing this out here: highway departments or something. Then which and elected one's official union goes? And one's not. Yeah, yeah. Or which elected official goes then? You know. Or or your court. Or well, of course, that's another issue. We know we talked about that here. You've talked about it extensively. I mean, we did the opposite here. We made another court. But if you were to combine it, do you have to time that out for what your judges are up next? I predict that that's going to happen. No. So, I I just think that's one of the things we're going to get squeezed on. Just because probably numbers are going down everywhere, but it won't be easy and it won't be pretty. No. I mean, tax collection, there's another one. You know, we. Let the county. Because do we're everything. a certain town size, we have to have a separate tax collector, but. But other we towns, do it for the school. So, see, we already do the sharing. Of yeah. Because we collect the school's taxes for them and we collect the county's taxes for them. So, we're already doing it. So, what is, you know, do I say to the county, why don't you just collect all of them? Yeah. Just give us back our share and, and we don't have, then we're out of it. Never get <laughs> is that a good idea? No. <laughs> he no. and I are going to disagree on well, that. We, we never get it. We get it last. Like currently, we collect the money. So At least we, we get it first. Oh. first. You think that the county's collecting it? No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So when we so talk about February, January, February, March, yeah, we don't want them yelling the money. The one thing that is allowed by law that we don't do, but some of the southern tier towns do, is they have a county building. Uh, Code enforcement, or not enforcement, the building inspector. Yeah, county county wide inspector. building inspector. Well, yes, inspector. How yeah. many do they have? Wow. One person wow. sure could right. No, they have. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. And Billy Weber retired here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And remember, we went to that seminar last year and they talked about it. Again, very rural communities compared to us. Yeah, really. Small. And we don't have a big city in the middle like we do. So, you, you know, if we did it for the entire Monroe County, can you imagine having I mean, just say six inspectors for the whole county. No. But with the Cuomo, uh, didn't he say he wants to incorporate the schools and BOCES into this? They're optional. Right. That's I the interesting see. part. We'll see if any of them show up tomorrow. But the county executive can invite them, Yeah. but they're not mandated to do it. So. It will be very interesting. And, uh, yeah, it will be more than interesting to see where it goes. But I'll have definitely have more to 
say about next week based on what I find at this. Um, I got a feeling we'll go more than an hour and a half. I'm Speaking right. of shared service, well, are you when you yeah, when you're no, through no, with no, this? That. Um, our joint board meeting. Yes. What are we thinking? Uh, we're think I'm not thinking. Yeah, we, we had that list of some ideas of a, of a, of a um, agenda, an agenda, a procedure, and I, I'm not opposed to that. I, Have dates been tossed up? No, no, no. You asked in your email about that, so we, we could plug that into as an option. I'm going to see the mayor tomorrow with the library stuff, so we can definitely talk okay. about that you know, as an option. I'm thinking maybe a little after Memorial Day, the potential. Do it late May with more days. Late going. May, Keep first week in June. I'm yeah. for that. And um, I talked to Margie about it. And, you did, okay. And um, we were talking about things that we should talk about, things that we've talked about. The village says what they're currently working on. We say what we're currently working on. What do, what do we do together? You'll certainly have some info oh, after yeah. tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, she said things that have been brought up in the community. People are talking to them about a recycling center again. Uh, when we went door to door, that was the most uh, prominent question or concern. Can we have recycling again uh, out in the country? Um, but she seemed very interested in uh, sharing, financially sharing, what it would take to do a recycling center. So I don't know. I don't know. East Avenue, it's more central. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care where it well, is. Well, that's another issue altogether. But anyway, it, but, there yeah. are many things um, that we can talk about, but the way I see it going is we are having a joint, joint workshop, and if you'd like to come and observe what's happening. But not a Q&A from the public no, for this no, time. No, no. We would love to have you come and <clears throat> watch us working together for the betterment of the community, mm -hmm. whatever. Uh, so basically, all we have to do is come up with an agreeable uh, agenda. And I think we're all on the same page, pretty much. And you will have t spoken to the library. Yes. Uh, you will have partially discussed with Cuomo. Um, <laughs> I don't yeah, think, I don't think, think he'll be there. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> he was around here today, wasn't he? You're something for the flooding of yeah, the lake? The, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. 1,000 sandbags. Yeah, um, that's his answer. But we have to fill them. So, um, <laughs> they have the change now. I would say we need to just write something and sh get it to the village and have a little back and forth and come up with the agenda. But then we have to advertise it. We do, yes. Of course. So, yeah, uh, when just you the, talk to Margaret. I'll talk to her tomorrow. See about the we'll bang some ideas around. I'll put them out to you guys in an email. Okay. And then we'll get it set for a date. And I, I like you said, I think right after Memorial or that first week in June or something. Uh, you got the calendar right I'm there. For what that. does that look like? Either one. Flip over to June. Uh, May, May, Wednesday, <laughs> May 31st. Well, we do have, yeah. Uh, or yeah, bad day. <laughs> June 7th. June 7th would work. I have a set band concert for kids on the 31st. Well, let's, let's put it for June 7th. It's a possibility. Uh, June 7th, Wednesday. Victory Day, right? I don't know. World War II. Oh, okay. Whatever. BJ Day. So, um, June oh, 7th, August? that would be good. Wasn't it? I don't think so. It's June 7th. For, Does it have it on there? For Victory Day. For Japan? Oh, that was in August. No. Well, yeah, I know for that one, but whatever. <laughs> Bill knows. <laughs> if I could make a comment on the joint meeting? Yeah, sure. Wouldn't okay. you want to have this after the election for the village? Why? You don't know who's going to be on the board. Well, that's not the purpose. I, don't, I, I, I know where you're coming from on that, and I did talk to the mayor about that somewhat, but I, 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 we're not going to make any decisions that night about doing something, that's no. for sure. You know what, though? I think it's just, a positive just, thing for both town and Bill saying that. Okay, I never really thought about that. We haven't we haven't gotten together yet. Maybe we should but be waiting. Another month isn't going to But what, what, for what reason, though? But, so you're, but, so you're well, talking to the people that are there. Maybe they'll all be there in the future, but maybe they won't. But the object is... 
cooperation between the town and village to see what services we can combine or things that we can do to, uh, to lower the taxes for the state of New York. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, I mean, what we are going to have to deal with ultimately, I think it won't it matter be. who's on the board, we're going to have well, to do well, some Well, but I see where Mary and Bill are coming from. I mean, what, the election is what, the night 20th, right? Yeah. Well, it's two weeks later. I mean, it's later. not like a campaign meeting. No, I realize that, but you know, you're going to be working with these people. It's to work. It's to work in the future together. I mean, this is just. Why well, give them ammunition though? Uh, to shoot them down before the election. You know, it's going to be. We already know it's going to be a controversial. Well, that's the other point. The right? village part. Yes. So if if something is said there and somehow it's turned around and well, you know, we heard you say that here. Oh, well, I just thought it might be. The fish was just long, and all of a sudden it's just long. You may as well, if we're going to meet and we haven't met at all, and we really do want to work together and try to do a plan, we should be working with who's going to follow this plan. What's village elections every two, four, what's their two term? Years. You may as well hook up with the team that's going to be in there. Well, that's a thought. How about well, Wednesday the 28th? The new board's not going to be in by then. No, that's true. You know they aren't. So they don't get sworn in until know, July. You know it was at least. And you could keep putting this off forever. Okay. It's already been what? This is like the you've already had two dates no, that have been one, canceled. One, we got mixed up. Yeah, we just got mixed up on the. Other I side. thought it was the twenty sixth. We didn't know that we it was a it was a miscommunication. Okay. Uh, well. I would say ask the village. Yeah. What would you prefer? Do you want to do June 7th or June 7th or do you want to do July? Well, put, I'll put out the June 7th one and say do you want to wait to the week after the election or whatever. It's but I mean, to me, the object is not who specifically is on the board. The object is what can two boards do uh, to help our community and help us financially if there are any possibilities to do that. If you start working with one board and all of a sudden the devil's advocate is another board, they're going to have, then you might go back to square one again. So, what about yeah. this board then? A couple months later, then this board could be different. Could, it will be. Well, I know. <laughs> one part will be. Yeah, Grandpa, Grandpa. <laughs> you, car just will be gone. You just got the immediacy of this meeting before the village election where you don't have that going to the town. You got a few months before that is. It's going to be the same difference in yeah. terms of yes, yes, Let me yes. see what she you thinks what tomorrow. They say. I mean, I but at least we got an idea where we want to go with it, I think. I mean, obviously, we're not going to hammer it's out that night like a, a what somebody else is going to do and what somebody meeting. isn't going to do. Um, I just don't. I just don't think we're ready to do a Q and A open session. No, well, me neither. That no. quite as long as we all agree it's to like that. Workshop. Yeah. yeah, it's a workshop. So, all right, that's fine. Okay, next, financial. Oh, you wanted to say something. Else. I, I just have one more thing, but I can do it. Oh, no, that was the other thing, but go ahead. Um, I, got, I talked to uh, Steve today, and uh, he had given us a couple of weeks ago that information on the food Oh, truck. right, right. And I talked to Lisa today because I didn't understand a few things. Yeah, I... Oh, that's it. Yeah, I think I it out for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have it too. Um, um, he passed these out. Yeah, and I... But I didn't understand a few things. Um, I and think I think get, we need to talk about Did you ask him or not yet? Yeah, about well, the things you didn't understand? Or? No, no. It's just that in terms of procedure, I was not aware if uh, we do something like this that you have to... Um, if, if it's a code change, well, we change your heart, that yeah. you have to have a committee and a hearing and... Well, we don't have to have a committee, but you might want to have a But we have to have a discussion. It. Discuss it, right. I wouldn't, okay. yeah, I wouldn't jump on this. This is pretty in-depth, more Jim so than Bell we have. is our uh, guidance as far as right. adopting and changing Anything, local laws. Yeah, uh, yeah. We might have a small amount of input, but he's going to give us the right wording and stuff. 
That's why he's been very valuable. Stuff like this should be done uh, with a committee of some sort. Uh, I just used in bills. Just like what we've gone through before. With the solar committee, uh, Jimmy's been an invaluable source, getting it right, and we're we're getting there. You know, we're, we're we really made some significant headway in. I mean, I'm not trying well, to discourage I, I agree anything about what Steve's doing, but he's supposed to be enforcing the laws, not writing the laws. Well, um, he said, uh, he said that, uh, I said, where, where did you get this information, or how did this come about? Well, he found it from other codes. And he found it from other codes, Rochester and other codes, and and it's just so that you have something in writing as to what our position is on this. Uh, and see, I'm thinking in my brain when I before I call Lisa, I'm thinking that well, gosh, if we have to have a committee and and uh, go through a, a public hearing, yeah, and go through a time. hearing. I said, nobody will be able to get a food permit, I mean a truck permit, but she no. said they can still get the permit. Oh, yeah. This yeah. is just like an explanation of the philosophy of this town. Well, it's a regulation in a yeah. way, too, so we got to be wary of that, too, right. because we don't want to... Well, do you guys think that it's wise to have this? At this point, I'm not in a hurry to worry about it, because we haven't had anything like this, and now this comes up, you know, with Jimmy's A's or whatever, and we, we changed our... Uh, pricing, right. Right, which is fine. And one thing that I know we've talked about on this board before, the actual food servicing is controlled by the Department of Health at the county. So we're really out of that too. Right. So do so how much micro and I didn't read this whole thing, how much micromanagement do we want Steve to be doing on a food truck that'll be I here read it all occasionally. I, I don't I feel we should be doing anything. You know. Uh, health wise, uh, well, yeah, health-wise, it's not our deal. Well, there's such things as liability. If it is health-wise, if they don't have health certificates and someone gets sick, then it's a liability. I guess, I, I understand that, but you said, you just said that's the health department, not the town of I Sweden. understand that. We gave them a permit. But we gave them a permit. Right. Sick, so that's why you them. have this. No. no. No, because once we do that, then we can. We don't enforce it, though. The county does. Well, I guess I need to understand this. Yeah, story. no, and that's why we wouldn't just vote on it right away to say that we want to just put our code book is big enough, as you know, already. So that we want to do this and and get down to this level of detail to put another, and I know Steve's the one that came up with it, another thing to but, worry about if we have one food truck so far. If we had uh, food truck rodeos every weekend, it might be a whole different issue. Or, or I can see the city of Rochester where they have... Way more, and have more staff to regulate it. But it's I mean, not there. We, have, not a, not we have a cancer fundraiser this Saturday at the Vets Club, and I'm not, I apologize. I don't know the person's name. I don't know them, but uh, they wanted to have a, a whole bunch of food trucks. Well, a whole bunch end up to be two because the criteria was copy of the insurance, copy of the food licenses, and two food trucks were planning on coming. And they haven't even been inspected by the Monroe County. Yeah. So, and the other, but you know, see, that's another that's another reason that you have these things. Well, maybe, but here's the here's here's right away a, a, a impediment I see. That we talked about in the past, related to all the special events law, is that says you know anything on a private property is going to have to go through all this stuff. So if you have a graduation party and you invite Lugia's ice cream over there, you're going to need every one of these specs for an hour of the ice cream truck being in there. Yeah, yeah, I just I understand you know, that. line for two hours. You know, just where I'm coming from. I get that. You know, I understand uh, that. Because then I wouldn't want Steve going to ruin in some high school at graduation party. Said, Sorry, this truck's got to close. You can't have ice cream. But why do you think he did yeah. this? I think I don't know. I think I it was just triggered by well, the whole. Maybe thing. we just need to have a, a meeting. Well, we need to meet with yeah. Steve and Jim. And it might all play into the uh, home occupation thing. Which of course is another whole issue that we couldn't solve. That definitely needs a subcommittee to talk about that because. So we, that's not a done deal either. Well, if we had to vis revisit how we deal with it based on our current code, because okay. we talk about the whole zoning board versus us, and now the building inspectors had second thoughts on that, wants to have it regulated over in their department. You know, the girl that's doing the baking up in Tracy mm -hmm. Terrace is going. Is, what does did they go to this week? 
Yeah. 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 Did they approve it? Yeah. So. yeah. so that one's out of the way, but future ones, we had, we we talked about it here. That do we want to be the zoning board to be the arbiter or just put it all in the bag of the building department? Or is there some criteria for that? And I told you why that came up 12 years ago. Because the neighbors were dealing with the same street. Um, so that's what I'm talking about, the home occupation. Those parts of it can be looked at separately, not to go down the path of here. And then, then well, you know, on the special events law, too, let's face it. I we mean, need to talk about, about that all of weeks. those things at length. Yeah, and they'll probably be separate from the normal work session. If we put it at the end of one of these agendas, we'll never get to it. That's right. right. I don't have any issue with Steve giving this stuff, and we all have to look through it closely. But that was the one that struck me right away when it said private property. I know we were thinking about the way it was the blue cross or the, you know, the oh, uh, parking up there. Unity. Unity once in a while, but I just couldn't help but think about the graduation party and the Logias thing. And you got him to come there and say, well, sorry, you can't do it because you got to follow all these rules first. Well, isn't Unity part of uh, Wegmans compound up there? It is. It is. So I'm sure Wegmans has got some pretty stringent rules if they allow it to come on. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Especially when they sell hot dogs every Saturday in front of the store. But if they put it next to CVS, yeah. it might be a whole different thing. Just because it's a busy corner, there's plenty of parking there. They might say, or you might have somebody like, uh, I doubt they will McDonald's say, you can't put a food truck next to us. That's competing with our business. Just because they want to park there during lunch. Well, when like Duryea owned all that land, when as soon as he so or leased land to friendlies, the more restaurants could go all the way around the corner there. Oh, was that it? Yeah. Part of the deed. Then when friendlies closed, uh, he didn't own the, the spot where Tim Hortons and why they came right in. Oh yeah. Has anybody has anybody in this room heard a rumor that Panera's is interested in coming to Rockport? Somebody asked me that the other day. Well, if not, you just put it on the camera, and now everybody <laughs> will think it's going to happen. Because they'll only hear that part of it. That I know. Lori Scoot said Panera is coming. Well, so, so it was no. A constituent oh, asked me. I'd like them to said, come. Panera, they said, is Panera coming? I said, I yes, they are. They are. They'll be here soon. Let's get that out there. See, now you're making it worse. <laughs> Where are we going to put them? I don't know. Where the friendlies used to be. <laughs> I'll tell you one source if you could have it. If you, t if you know anybody that works at the bus garage, tell them there it will go out fast. <laughs> all all place over. All over the every district. Every day, twice a day. <laughs> okay, so I, I just hope that we can have some yeah, no, opportunity can, to talk know. about home, home business, food trucks, and uh, our favorite whatever that topic was. Um, oh, special events. events. We need to. We need to have. A, I guess we need to it's have, a, have to be a, a retreat. Meeting. It'll have to be a separate. Well, yeah, it'll have to be a We're separate. We're going to need a, a lot of stuff. Perhaps it's January second. <laughs> You're ready to do it in January. Well, I think yeah. we have a lot of stuff that's open that we need to finish up. Okay. Yes. We're going to have you head up the volunteer committee in January. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> The only one problem could do it by Oh, you'll be in Skype Florida. <laughs> that time of year, I'd have to Skype it. All right, Lisa, finances. All right, so this is a local law. And we talked about this when Rob was away, and you guys didn't feel comfortable doing anything, so I'm back with that. This is a recommendation from the audit. We're talking about following up. Oh, oh, is yeah. this just a one? It's just to change the, our the limits, back. to meet the state about, limits. Okay, I've got an extra one here. You, yeah, you, do that. you weren't comfortable with talking about it without Rob here. And I don't have any problem with it. I, I think it meets the state requirement. And we, uh, they hadn't been, the original uh, uh, limits were set in 1968. And they didn't change them themselves for almost 30 years. So, actually it was over 30 years. So it's, I think we could definitely match that. You can't exceed it anyway, so but we're always allowed to go tighter. Is that anything you want to add or below? So basically we're talking about um, Three things. the amount of money for whatever the purchase is and uh, rules about bidding. Right. But it doesn't change our internal rule about the $5,000. Or the two thousand, okay. less than five, but it changes the big ones. Um, say the lawnmowers. 
uh, you could just get the best price instead of worrying about going in bid for a ten thousand dollar lawn bar, which you would do. But remember, the one year that lawn bars went off the bid, yeah. they didn't bid on them. But the yeah. ones we wanted. So you, yes. you guys, you've been here. What do you they're, think? Oh, what do you think? I think they're great changes. Yeah, I don't have any issue with it at all. I think it's it's, it's and that, and that's it's good. I, the lawn bar is a perfect example of that we've got cut out of those X marks. And part of it is I've dealt with OGS before at the state. Their bid process takes so long to get a vendor on there. Sometimes it lapses and it's eight, ten months until they're on again. And it's something you want to buy. And you can't get it unless you do a separate sealed bid, even though the price is the same as it was the year before, because they're not on there anymore. Wow. And that happens a lot because the bureaucracy is so, so small. So we need to make a resolution, make a resolution, make a resolution yes. for next week? Yeah. You could call a public hearing. This is changing your oh, code. Okay. This is yeah. a law. Like Another what one. Is trying to do, but this yeah. is recommended by your auditors. So okay. So you All need right. to call a public hearing. Have the public hearing, then you can change it. So, you and second meeting, second meeting in May, we'll change it. Okay. So we'll call the hearing next week. Okay. So That's enough notice for care? Two weeks is, yeah. Should be. Right, yeah. I mean, I, I'm going to need certain things. So, if I could be kept in the loop on this, yeah. just for reporting to the state, Matt, I, I would appreciate that. Sure. You know what? And you can have this. I have one. There's a bed. Thank you. Thank you. There's an extra one. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other financial stuff? Oh, yes. Of course. Because this is the audit, then all the recommendations from the audit, they were little, but if you don't want to let them go, I'm just keeping them in front of you. Um, this is an online banking policy. So the front page is from the New York State Comptroller talking about electronic signature discs and discs. Yeah. wire transfer <laughs> procedures. I'm just having you read what their rules yeah. are. Okay. When you flip to the second page, Ray Wager provided one policy from a school district because they said they would share online banking policies from us. So then I wrote on that one so you'd know what it was, a school district policy that Wager shared with us because he's recommending that we have an online banking policy. Then the third page is, I got one from Parma because almost nobody around us has one. But Parma had one and this is their really in-depth online banking policy. Yeah, these are not laws. These are just internal policies oh, that you right. just adopt by a motion. Then finally, I wrote a draft for us based on what we do. Because they didn't say in the audit we were doing it wrong. I'm doing it right. You just, just so don't have, have a, a policy. policy. It's it. just not oh, okay. written anyway. Okay. What I actually do. How we actually secure online banking. So here it is in a policy that you could adopt. And you don't have to adopt it next week, but I want to keep moving forward with those audit recommendations so that next year we already have them in place. This is just what I'm recommending based on how we do it and the checks and balances that we have in place that they said we're fine. You just don't have a written policy. I like this where it says the supervisor, Thomas Squid, is under the written agreement designated with designated banks and trust companies. And I, when I looked at Parma's, they had a specific bank. They had First Niagara. Yeah, and, and I didn't. And I think we keep it generalization yes. because every two years it changes. Somebody's the bought out. Right. The sign companies are one making all the money. Yeah. Uh, true. Five star. Yeah, so you don't have to make a decision tonight, but I will just keep nagging you until you're ready because I don't see if they have any changes, this. I mean, if you I want think it done some other procedure, but. It's much better than Parma's policy, I think, and the school district one is mm, partly applicable, partly not. I, we don't have the same thing. And this, and just what the controller says. I think it's short and sweet and right to the point. Like today. You, um, how you said, um, a person other than the one conducting the activity will initial the printed yes. record as re yeah. that makes sense, and then. Which I just did today. And then you say the, 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 the printed record of these transactions yeah. will be filed with the monthly bank statements. Yeah. The bank statements are reconciled by the director of finance and reviewed by the assistant to the finance director and the supervisor. Yeah. Do you want those initial too to show they that do. they oh, should I put that in your yeah, writing? I could, yeah. Yeah, the words initial. Initial, yeah. sure. Yeah, because Rob did just do it today. So they can't okay. Robert, yeah. Can the interest on yeah. $3 million. 0.01%? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 0 0.05. Half a percent. And an initial, right? Yeah, and initial. Yeah, I'm going to add that to it. Because they do do that. I don't 
don't see any other wire transfers from the pre-approved business, right? And of course now we have way less bank accounts. Mm -hmm. in somewhere else to do it. You can. Chase has that set up. You've got the yeah, dongle anyway. Yeah, and I yeah. showed that to Lorraine here last week. Uh, nobody can access our bank account. Well, I should be talking about that. Oh, that's okay. Right. Yeah. Right. I know. If you want um, next week, you could adopt it at the board. Okay. Sure. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Sure. So that's one, and then changing that code is two, and then um, the next one is whistleblower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is part of our rules. Yes. So this is how I started it for you. Because if you remember, he said that we have something similar to whistleblowers called a dispute resolution procedure. Mm -hmm. So I copied that for you first, and you see current suite and policy in red, so you could follow. That's our dispute resolution procedure. Uh -huh. When you get to the bottom of the second page, I just put the words whistleblower in there, because to me that is where it would make sense to put whatever you want to adopt right there at the end of the dispute resolution and have a defined whistleblower policy. Mm -hmm. Then I connected these policies, okay? one from the town of Victor, one from an anonymous town that okay? removed their name, one from the town of Clarkson. Clarkson actually has one, one for a line. <laughs> okay. um, and then Mary's that she brought from Old Portrait. So, I didn't try to draft one for us because I didn't know if one of you guys wanted to do it. If you want me to draft one that kind of combines them and get it to you, or... I'd like to read them over yeah, and then... Yeah, them all, and then and you then guys do it so I would the, do the next work session. Yep, yeah. Yeah. that sounds good. Okay. Um, we'll call that homework. Because I, I obviously... There are certain, I don't think one set is appropriate, but no. do we need two, three pages either? I don't know. Exactly. Yeah. And then next... So that would clean up that yeah. uh, the 14th, right? Oh, that's June. And then we've got conflict of interest, right? Yes. Don't we have a conflict yes. of interest? Yes, so that's still on my desk because I've asked for some other oh, things okay. and I don't have them yet. All right. I'm working yeah. on it. Because okay. if you got those, like you do this one, maybe you could zip them out to us and then we can have them all read by the next yeah. workshop, yeah. which yeah. would be, what day is this it? This is June. Oh, there's June. Right. We're on the second, so the next workshop's the 16th. 16th. Yeah. Okay, I'm putting it in the date, right? Is it smaller this year? Is it smaller? I don't I think it's the same. No. <laughs> <laughs> you need one. Where can you get a good pair of glasses? <laughs> <laughs> you need, don't you have a calendar? Well, well, what's your work you do? I have it right on my phone. Yeah, there you go. You can see that one. Oh, I used to be able to see that one. I want one here. You can't put 12 months on the phone. It's hard to read them. Well, I can do it. You can do it. But. Another recommendation, and I didn't um, bring you guys copies. I just wanted to ask you because they talked about having a written procedures for finance in case of a you disaster. And I didn't send you, but never heard one word. So oh, I, yeah, I know. read that. I thought it, it was good. Anybody the fine what it is, and what it covers, it seems like sure. Work. And I didn't make copies for tonight because I emailed no, it I a couple it. weeks ago. Okay. But there was no I think comments it was good. or issues. The essential operations of the place can certainly have people can get paid. Yep. And we can do some. There's obviously an impact. Yep. I don't think realistically, and I know a lot of I dealt with this in my other job, was to completely make a mirrored operation somewhere else was not realistic for anybody. But they actually suggested that at one point one of my consultants said, Why don't you rent a space? In a plaza or something. Well, what would it cost? Just in case. Three or four hundred. Oh, that's crazy. To have a space oh where you can move God. all your essential payroll people and everything else if you had a disaster. I think it's what's most important is the, the the people that are doing it all the time. If something happened to them, would we know what to do? And, and you've got you get a nice job. yeah. Um, and then I got the books closed today for the month, and I only got you one set of reports so far. Your supervisor is reporting your thing, but this is just the senior center thing, um, the monthly. And we, I mean, there's nothing 
nothing Big surprising there, here. Just... Expenses are down a little because it's that time of year where we don't have the AC on yet. I mean, yeah. it's not on that much, so I'm sure we're saving there. Building inspections, yeah, expenses were down a little bit, but you know, it's pretty typical. And then the second back, I put it on the back, is the report that Mary asked for that I started doing now. It just tells you how they spent the money in the recreation program. Line. And we did to talk about yeah, that. that. Food. Yeah. Yeah. The food thing seemed very high, but it's because she pre bought, right? Yeah. 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 And it's sort of quarterly. Eight fifty. Eight fifty. It was the only bill they turned in this month was for food. So. Wait a minute. Should have known a restaurant there. Eight fifty two after <laughs> ordering yeah. almost two thousand. Yeah. The very next month, I thought that it was supposed to cover a quarter of the 1900. Is that what she's saying? I don't, I don't know. I didn't talk to her. I'm just telling you that these are the bills you paid last week okay. in April. It was only food purchases. What did we figure when we were talking to her back in the March? Was three, it 6000 a year for food? Yeah, three grand for the year, I thought it was. Yeah, oh, was it three? Oh. I can't remember what it was. No, it was six. No, it was six. It was six. It was half the, the whole yeah. supply budget. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. For that. So you'd certainly have to be careful that you're not burning through that. What's our total for food budget? 28, 22 so far. So we're halfway there already. Halfway there and we're only into the fourth month. But again, depends how she does or what she does. I mean, I can as your finance director that she doesn't go over 12000 If she's under the twelve, it isn't. I don't care how she's been. There. You guys might care because you oversee it. You but I think that, that she thinks that it's up to her how that is spent. I mean, well, you know, it kind of is. But she thinks that she's allowed to spend that because that's her budget. So yeah. she just okay. chooses the way that they're going to use it. So, but Deanna did say she, if we have any questions, she's. Very open to it. She welcomes oh, yeah. it to talk to her and no. answer questions. You know, I think if we'd saw it, we'd see, and, and there's so many calls in the air on this whole thing, but we saw by August that they were already at the $6,000 mark, then I'd be asking some questions about what the heck's going on the last six months that you were you're already there or over what you were last year. And it wouldn't be just the cost of food. You know, if you're buying filet mignon, that might be reasonable. Who like, you knows? So. But the program fee took a jump in March because of, uh, was it the chorus thing or something? Mm -hmm. For the second oh, quarter, the other side? cost there to see that it, it's almost half what it was in April as far as revenues. Yeah, and I think she that's when they something. collected yeah. all those fees yeah. for that. All right, let me touch on the. Uh, the Lodge on the Canal, too, since there's been some development on that. I met with uh, David, the architect, uh, yesterday, and we went over where we are in terms of the plan. Well, the plans are done, but in terms of what's... You don't the, mean the Lodge on the Canal. No, no. You mean the Lodge on the park, park. Oh, good. Yeah, the park. Um, the next steps is that we have to do with our um, grant coordinator, and um, he had questions about certain things that were in that 50-page contract that we have to do with the economic development part of the state that runs that. And um, he outlined them, and uh, you see she got back to us in one day, which is very impressive. What's going on? Oh, you know, the the state historical preservation, the minority woman-owned business requirements, the bidding. Um, the, the bidding thing, which is part of the normal process anyway, the Wix law. We just have to make sure we meet all those criteria that we can, or show it the good faith effort to do it with some of the situations, especially the minority women-owned business, because those rules apply throughout New York State, including New York City. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not like we're in New York City here. Our, our choices are somewhat more limited on some of those things, but we have to show the good faith effort to do it. Um, and she outlined that pretty good and gave us a lot of paperwork with it. So. Uh, we're just following through those little steps, and I'll meet with David regularly to get updated and then update the board. So, in terms of timing, you believe that when might we need to that? Well, it's more, it, you know, goals and what's reality, because the bureaucracy can hold up things. I was encouraged that she answered us so quickly. Maybe she's getting better at doing what she's doing. Um, I don't know how big a staff she has, because she has a lot of projects, you know. 
ten million dollar ones that went to some companies in the southern tier or whatever. Um, so I have to approve all the bid documents before we can put them out. Yeah, so it all has to go to her. Everything goes through, which is a good thing. It's one point of contact. Yeah. It all goes to her. And then when she says we can do it, uh, we can go out to the bids, then he can do that. We can do that and go out to him. And I said just to set some kind of arbitrary date, it would be the first week in June. And then um, we get so long for the for a copy of the bid on it. And then see what kind of bids come in, see if it fits within the criteria. You know, we can decide what's affordable within, you know, the grant we get, but we got to make up the other quarter difference, whatever. And is some of, if some of that in kind with our our highway, or is it strictly? Almost none. Blue? They did what they did. We did that with the $25,000. Yeah, okay. the CDBG. Okay. They did that. So it's definitely on the outside now in terms of them doing it. And the grant's what, 446? Something like yeah. that? Yeah. And remember, it isn't just the lodge. So it we're goes starting that with the lodge. path or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a couple other elements. So play, some playground equipment in the path. So. so some of the things that we could look at, depending where the, when the bids come in as a board, is, uh, okay, um, one one that David gave me that just off the top of said was the floor is specked out to be concrete, colored concrete polished and collected in Walmart yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But we wanted to extend that out to the outside deck. But he said if, if that came in too pricey, because it is more expensive, we just go with sidewalks and then out there. Sure. We've got an option to cut that out and say, would that knock two grand off of it or something? Mm -hmm. None of them are big items that would totally, you know, one I mentioned I didn't want to do, but we could do it with a metal roof and go to shingles. That would save a lot of money. And not sure long again, like Yeah, house. I mean, I think the metal rough goes with it. I agree. I agree. But you know they're oh, way more that expensive than shingles. That, uh, drawing, yes. Uh, lesson but learned see, we, from me, boy. <clears throat> we got grants for 75% to 25%. We're, we originally thought we'd have to pay for the whole thing. I know. So I don't think we cut corners at this I, point I really in time. I would not switch to so shingles. No, no. Way. I'm just throwing that yeah. out there. Is if it if it came ridiculously I mean, over, if it's fifty thousand over what we cut? thought, something might a have to give. To cut. Yeah. Whether I come back to the board and say, all right, we're going to take another fifty grand out of the reserve because we want this no matter what. You know, if we didn't include any furnishings, the fireplace that we talked about, the foundation is an option. They're going to bid that separately. Say it's ten more grand. We can say, oh yeah, we're okay with where it is. We'll put it in. If not, it can come later. We can run the gas line or something for it. Um, those are the kind of things that I'm talking about. You know, one of the subjects that came up is, a, is an option to think about the big savings. If we and I talked to Jill today, it'd be more likely to happen is that not have any kind of open ring in the kitchen, just to have a reheat oven, uh, you know, convection oven, would, whatever. And we've talked about this before. I would not do that because when people rent rent the place for events. They are going to want to have a stove. Yeah, but I talked to yeah. Jill about that, though, on the other side of it, though. Do people really want, are they going to boil potatoes or fry eggs when they have an event, or are they just going to reheat what they've already made? Because it, it's a huge difference in the cost of the hood, just so you're aware of that. It yeah, would drive the cost yeah. way, up, yeah. way up, where if you just mm -hmm. had a convection oven, I mean, you still got to have a hood, but not at the level. That I don't think very many have. people cook. And, that, and the other side of it, too, is that pushes because there are new codes, of course, in our state about air turnover. And you have to have a um, fresh air intake if you have any kind of exhaust that's got to equal it. So that would be an impact on us for heating and cooling. I, okay, uh, I have a question, though. If we go with just what you're saying, I mean, uh, and we found out otherwise, would we be able to add something if there was money at a different time? We just went with. Well, first off, the, I, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think you're gonna include the, the, any type of stove. No, no, those aren't included. It's just what might be built into. To, okay, no, so, wrap with any appliances in there. Those will be separate. Either we buy them, foundation, okay. rotary, say a big That's fridge. A they could get that for us. The building's cool. gotta be built right for. Right. But it's yes. gotta be built to accommodate. Okay, That's what got I get into. I, I don't think I know that with the reserve money we have, and the fact that we got that four hundred fifty thousand dollar grant. It's not going to be an issue unless we double the place in terms of affording what to do. But I don't think I don't. I, I think we're going to be fine. Yeah. But on the other hand, we need uh, 
you know, gold tinted windows or something like that don't. So we, 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 you have to draw the line in some place where we are. So that is just for the structure, the path, and the playground. And in terms One of... One of the three separate bits, though? Yes. Yeah, well, that, that well, yes. Well, we're not going to do playground in the no. path now. David has nothing to do with no, it. No, that's a totally just separate. Lodge, right? We're just doing the lodge part. And you're going to have to go forward with the rest of the project. you got two years to do that. Yeah, but those things, those pieces, we can even do it in the yeah. path would yeah. be done in-house yeah. or whatever. I don't want to. I don't want to put that in a prevailing wage job. Okay. Just to add a you know twenty thousand dollar path that we could do for a quarter of that. Okay. Um, so it's mainly to get the lodge thing. I mean, we're not cheaping out. I don't want to get that pressing in there. I want a place that's going to last for 30, 40 years and be least. nice. But but we, we. I just want the board to be aware there are things that we could scale back if it got ridiculous. Well, it would be interesting to see. David said right now, commercial property like that is around two hundred dollars a square foot. So, figure if it's two thousand square feet, it's four hundred grand. So, but it's basically a four-room building, and it's a big room and a three-other storeroom, kitchen, and two bathrooms. So it's not that complicated a structure. What What are the dimensions of the building? Do you? Well, they're on my desk in there. If you want to look at it later. I don't even know. You keep it under, under 100 people for accuracy. Yes. Yeah. And that's why we're going to keep that side. Well, of course, you could do that by putting more rooms in when you can't fit in there, but the main room should hold no more than 99 people to avoid the sprinkler thing. And we're going to have a, a porch roof kind of that goes out. Oh, yeah, right Where towards the can, pond covered. And, yeah, I want, to, I want to look at the dimensions. Yes. I never did. And then one of the other things that we talked about was a siding, concrete siding, but it looks like shingles or roof, or not roof, like either clapboards or um, on the ends, the cedar shakes, mm -hmm. but they're really concrete, just to give it a little yeah, bit of look. Yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and it's colored all the way through, so you don't have the issue of, uh, you could paint if you want, but you know, there it is. Yeah. yeah. That would be good. Yeah. Yeah, all the numbers written here, so I don't have to look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, that, this, this has been extended since this, I don't know, this was the original, and I asked them to add 12 feet more onto that. So this is where the roof is? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, uh, if you look at, you know, this right building, it's a third deal, it's a fourth 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 de